Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and use the LSP Watermark Grid Overlay Actions and Patterns. After downloading, uh, you'll notice this is a zipped file. The icon may look like this, it may look a little bit different, but this is a compressed zipped up file, uh, meaning it contains several files within. The easiest way to unzip on Windows is to right click and choose Extract All choose the destination where you want this to be saved and hit extract. On Mac you can double click or use the archive utility option. If you have any trouble um, unzipping or extracting this folder please get onto Google, type in your operating system and you know how to um, extract or open up a zip file and you'll find all the relevant information. Once it's unzipped you'll see the folder becomes open like a book like this. Double click and you'll see you have several folders inside. You have the instructions uh, which come up like this, so if you can't get to this video you can read the instructions um, just to give you a reminder of how to use this. You have the watermark grid overlay actions, this is the ATN file. You have the diamond watermark pattern and the grid watermark pattern. Let's make these all a little bit larger. So you have the actions and two FX pattern files. The easiest way to install all three of these into Photoshop is simply double click. And that means that one is in double click diamond that one is in and double click the actions they're all in if you have any issues installing these files into Photoshop please do again take to Google you'll find all the information on there nothing is going to happen once you've installed they are in Photoshop you won't notice anything change so what you need to do don't worry about those pattern files they just need to be um, as long as you've double clicked and put them into Photoshop the actions will work come up here to window and choose actions and you'll see here you have the grid watermark overlay. You have instructions on the first setup. Instructions for the watermark grid overlay, you can hit play. And a little instruction box pops up again just to help you use these. But if you're watching this video and editing along, it's actually really simple. Next up, you have a resize your image for web option. Because you don't really want to use this on a full sized image, you want to use this on a, you know, the whole idea is for these is that you can upload them to your website. Perhaps you do online viewings, and this way, if somebody screenshots or captures your image, um, they're not going to be able to remove this, whereas your normal watermark might be easily removed. So first of all, I recommend resizing your image for web. You can use the new web size image portrait or landscape. Landscape is long, portrait is tall. This is a landscape image, so I'm going to click that one first and hit play. This has actually created a brand new image that you can add the watermark to. So here's our original and here is the brand new image um, and this way you can add the watermark grid to this without saving over your original. So next up you have add a watermark grid for web size images. You can add the grid or the diamond or you could add both. Because you've installed these pattern files as long as you've double clicked and installed these FX files just by double clicking then you can play this forever more. You won't need to reinstall them again it will work forever um, unless you have a major Photoshop update you may need want to reinstall so do keep those files for future reference. So I've just clicked on the diamond and hit play and you see it's instantly added a diamond grid watermark. Up here on the opacity you can make this stronger or calmer depending. But this is great because it means your clients can still see the image great but if you come up close they're not going to be able to remove all of this gridding um, across the image. So it's a really great way of protecting your images. You can add, that's the diamond, you could add the grid to, and this will add a, um, an even bigger layer of security to your image, or you can just choose square grid or diamond grid or both. So that's how to use the LSP watermark uh, resize Photoshop, Photoshop actions um, and patterns. As long as you've installed them in, you can just click these and use every time you want to share up to your website. If you want to share on Facebook or send your clients images to look at without the possibility of them um, screen grabbing and, you know, sharing. Um, this also kind of prevents you needing to put your massive watermark over the image, which kind of takes away from the image, takes the wow factor away. So these grids allow you to, um, to kind of to watermark your image in a really, really secure way and also keep the integrity of your image so your customers can view it properly. So enjoy using those. Um, do tag me in the LSP Actions Facebook group if you've got any questions at all. Um, you can get these actions, uh, Photoshop actions, presets, overlays, digital backgrounds and everything else over on the website. 
at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.